Good morning. vault calling. You have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. In the beginning of the game, you and your family are rushed inside Vault 111 in the northwest near Sanctuary just as the bombs are falling. Secretly, 111 was designated to experiment with cryostasis, placing its inhabitants in a state of suspended animation for 180 days. Unfortunately, after 180 days passed, vault Tech never gave the expected all-clear signal. Resident secure. As time continued to pass, the assigned crew started noticing their supplies were getting low and panicked. The overseer of the vault refused to open the door, knowing that due to radiation, everyone would quickly die. The security staff staged an uprising and the overseer locked himself and some scientists in his office. 200 years later, your character emerges unscathed from his or her cryopod and can view the result of the battle that ensued. If you spend enough time with a companion called Kate, she'll start telling you about her ongoing addiction to chems and her desire to reach Vault 95 in the southwest section of the map. A place called Vault 95. I've heard that Vault Tech used it for some kind of social experiment. Stuck a bunch of junkies inside to poke and prod. Vault 95 was claimed to be designed to rehabilitate those with addictions, but secretly, it was an experiment that led to catastrophic results. Initially, the participants responded well and were recovering. However, a vault Tech representative discovered a copious amount of chems that were intentionally placed inside the vault. Once the inhabitants found out, chaos ensued and they savagely attacked the vault Tech rep, choosing to sadly give in to their old addictions, forgoing their attempts to get clean altogether and overdosing en masse. In the northeast area of the map lies Malden Middle School, where in the basement you'll find Vault 75. When the bombs fell, the children and their parents were rushed inside. However, quickly the adults were separated into another room and executed. The goal of Vault 75 was to physically and mentally test the children in order to find out which had superior genes. The kids were told about the evils of the world above, which they called Uptoland. The best physical specimens were harvested for their genes, and the most obedient and intelligent children were drafted to join the vault scientists upon reaching age 18. One of the children discovered what was really going on and decided to lead a rebellion, helping the rest of the children escape their captors for a better life, ironically, out in the wastes. By the time the lone wanderer arrives, the vault has been made home by a gunner's gang. When you reach Vault 81 in the southwest of central Boston, you may be surprised to find other relatively normal people just like yourself. The reason for this oddity is that initially, the vault was designed to create a super cure for all human ailments using the inhabitants as guinea pigs. The overseer, however, had a change of heart and decided to do all of the testing on mole rats instead. However, one of them did escape and bit the hand of Austin Engel, who is then infected with a deadly disease. Upon hearing this, one of the vault's inhabitants, Bobby DeLuca, sends the player to investigate the vault because previously he had discovered one of the several hidden areas which he used to stash his camps. A robotic assistant named Curie eventually did find a cure years later after the other scientist had died. In Park Street Station, you can find the remains of the unfinished Vault 114 which was announced to be available only to those that resided in the upper echelons of society. Eventually, when future residents were added, they were crammed into small rooms with shared dining and bathing. The scientists began interviewing them in order to find someone with no leadership experience and who also showed signs of extreme hostility against typical authority figures. Eventually, they found a homeless man who went by the name of Soup Can Harry, simply because he considered his legal name to be a tool used by the oppressive government. Once they found out that he ate a Braxo cleaning solution because the back of the box told him not to do it. Don't you tell me what to do. I'll eat what I want. They knew without a shadow of a doubt 
their long search was over and appointed him overseer of the vault. Security was told by the vault personnel to obey everything, no matter how crazy, that Harry commanded. Bafflingly, the purpose of the experiment was quite simple. vault like some bad reality TV show, wanted to record the reactions of the privileged few under the yoke of a complete and utter imbecile. How would you like to be the new overseer for Vault 114? I ain't wearing no goddamn tie. Or pants. That's it for today's Vault Special. Let us know your favorite vault from the series in the comments below. This is Dash for Curse saying thanks for watching, and as always, enjoy the game.